How's everybody doing? Um, hi. Okay, sorry about that. Hit a button. Um, technology some days is my friend. Um, and other days, whoops, why did I even get up? Um, <clears throat> so, those of you that have been watching my lives a little bit um, through and throughout, all that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> one, uh, one thing that has um, always kind of mm, made me feel better is my backyard. So, I'm in my backyard right now. Um, yeah, Blue Jay, okay. Loud and mean those guys are. Um, it's not as pleasant as it used to be um, because they are doing some construction. Um, let me show you what's going on. If I can. Okay. My back fence right there, um, there's probably about 40 feet that they have not taken out the green trees. You can see them still alive and whatever. On the other side of that, they are building a mini strip mall. Um, and yes, it is inconvenient for me. Um, they start about 7.30 in the morning with the heavy equipment and it's very irritating. <laughs> I realize that that progress goes and must move forward and all that kind of good stuff. Um, I get it. I really do. <clears throat> but this has kind of been my sanctuary, um, especially through COVID and everything, um, is to be able to come outside, sit by my pool, look at my flowers, and be quiet. Nose, oh, yeah, not so much anymore. Anyway, so, <clears throat> that part is, um, is, uh, uh, I guess maybe next year or something that, um, I will get calm and quiet around my home again. Um, <clears throat> but, um, I do still like being out in the yard. Um, there's nothing more that that reaches and speaks to me than the beauty of God's creation. That's just all there is. Um, the Blue Jays, I li you know, I like hearing them. Um, yesterday I saw, um, gosh, just the l smallest little um, hummingbird that just in and out. Um, my roses have... Uh, I mean, gosh, my roses have just, I mean, they're blooming all year long. I have had zero days that I have not had a rose. Um, I like that. So, and being outside makes you feel a little bit better. It does me. <clears throat> so, um, um, an update as to how things are going is um they're pretty good i feel better um all i mean every day is a new day um every day is a new dawning um now the uh, the weather itself is a little bit <clears throat> it's a little thick outside right now the humidity factor is just a little bit much um you can almost swallow the uh, the humidity um, that it is, but I'll take that any time. Hi Bella. Hi Bella, Bella, Bella. I know. Let me tell you what. Um, right here, my best bestie friend. <laughs> She's an old girl, just like Mama. I know it. Um. <clears throat> This old girl has brought me through some moments, and um, I'm, I'm very thankful. Very thankful for this. 
old girl there. She uh, is definitely, oh my gosh, the boxer eyes. Mm, <laughs> begs worse than, than anything in the world. <laughs> in the world. Um, anyway, <clears throat> my attention span sometimes gets disrupted. Um, but at least it's over things that are enjoyable. Um, the reason that I came out here this morning to talk to you is, um, <laughs> we, uh, if you've had arthritis, you know, the weather change picks up a little bit and, oh, I can feel the weather, oh, you know, um, oh, I have a migraine, uh, the, it's gonna rain or, um, all that kind of good stuff, right? <clears throat> I have these electrical cords that they go pop pop um, it's going to be a different bit of weather today um, I'm hoping that I can gain enough weight um, in a short amount of time here that they become a little deeper not quite so much obvious right here um, on the outward side so that it is not as a uh, yeah Peaceful, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> um, but to, to try to gain some weight so that they're not quite here and on the edge and they seem to be screaming just a little bit, that I've got some weather event maybe that's coming. Um, and so mm, I hope I hope it goes that part goes away a little bit. I have had to um, contact my doctor. Um, this second set of programming that was done um, was just done on Friday. I appear to have, and it's got to be a programming thing because I didn't have it beforehand, but I appear to have um, distractive thoughts. I'm not sure that's, uh, but. I know what I want to say, something stands in front of me or moves, catches my eye, that's what I'm going to, it moves the conversation, and maybe I'll come back around to what I was talking about, or maybe I will completely forget what I was talking about. Um, thanks, Simone. Pre, I, you know, every prayer, every prayer, um, I, every day, um, I'm very blessed and very thankful for not only the team that I have that is um, medical, but the team that I have that's at home. Um, that team that I have here at the house um, starts with Aaron, um, my daughter, my grandsons. Oh my gosh, my grandsons are hilarious. Um, <laughs> um, we are going to probably start writing some children's books um, I got the idea from um, somebody that Aaron had gone out and tuned their piano. And I've been doing some writing. Very, very therapeutic type stuff. I um, have one book in its publisher. And then I have this stupid book on eKindle. I have watched the YouTube on how to do this four times. I don't know. Maybe fifth times the charm. I do not know. Um, yes, Simone, um, laughter is absolutely the best medicine there is. Um, I try to, um, uh, I try to continue to laugh through it all because, you know, you can laugh or cry, um, and it's what you get. It's uh, what you make of it. So, uh, uh, I think about the old adage, um, that I think it was Ann Landers maybe that said it. Um, she wrote a book and it was called um, Lemons. If the world gives you lemons, that you uh, make lemonade. Um, my grandmother, she always used to make me lemon ice cream. Yeah, I'm spoiled. <clears throat> um, I haven't seen my grandmother in quite some time and I'm still spoiled. <laughs> but... Um, so anyway, I'm with the doctor, 
these uh, disruptive thought process type thing and I go from from this to that to this to that um, my mom she's a little concerned um, it's going to be a programming issue and I already know that but um, and they're going to have to come off of it just a little bit I have to go back I'm sure I'm going to have to go back in and visit with them um, for some <laughs> corrective um, programming because uh, apparently it's not always funny um, um, anyway eh. I'm gonna laugh <clears throat> but uh, anyway so um, this morning this is where um, this is the serious moment okay I was speaking to a, uh, a friend of mine um, I hope that everybody out there is aware of Adult Protective Services um, Adult Protective Services is available to anyone that, and I, I do believe that they're, that, um, that starts at 50 years or older. Um, maybe earlier if you have a disability, um, possibly, I'm not sure. Um, but Adult Protective Services was put into place to protect the elderly from being preyed upon. Um, now, preyed upon can be, you know, are they physically abused, mental abuse? Actually, uh, you know, that occurs and that kind of stuff is not, that's not acceptable. Um, and so Adult Protective Services, if that's the route you have to go, that's the route you have to go. Um, but no one should be harassed. Um, you shouldn't worry about being in your yard. You shouldn't worry. <clears throat> and I don't care which state you're at or where you live. Those ought to be basic human rights. Um, and I believe they are. And I think that if you're having an issue with them, <clears throat> excuse me, that you should be able to go to the um, Adult Protective Services. Um, I believe you could probably just Google it, bring it up, um, and they're uh, they're there to help you. Um, now, this particular situation, she has a restraining order, and it's not stopping it. And the police are not engaged or engaging with her. So, to me. The next spot would be to call Adult Protective Services. Um, and that's <clears throat> maybe where she needs to take the next level. Um, because no one should be afraid to be in, in there or be locked in their home being afraid to come outside. Um, she knows that she has my prayers. Um, that she not only gets some peace of mind, but obviously that she is safe um, because th that's just not right anyway so that's my serious moment um, message for this morning um, so if you're not aware of what adult protective services is and you're over 50 my suggestion at least find out um, one day you may need it um, if not maybe your parent or somebody you know um, 2020 has changed a lot of things for people um, and sometimes I think maybe they think that there's an anonymity um, of posting up what they want to post up. Um, that there's no consequences. Um, I disagree with that. As a matter of fact, um, some of the things that come off of a keystroke, you will never be able to take back. Um, if you have ugliness in your heart, um, whether it be race, religion, anything everybody will know about it and everybody should and that's going to um, <clears throat> that's going to change things um, I believe um, or at least that's my hope um, I hope and I pray every single day that an ugly thought um, made 
towards someone else <clears throat> that you should be, um, you know, have them, great. You're that ugly, great. Bring it out into the public's eye. Um, and there are consequences. Um, and that's not red, blue. No, it's none of that. That's just ugliness. Um, and I don't believe anybody will ever again, and that's with technology, be able to hide behind the keystroke. Um, and that's a good thing. Um, it's far, far past time for that to end. <clears throat> far past time. So... <clears throat> hateful people um, I refuse to play um, because I have heart um, hate in my heart for no one um, I've been through a massive ordeal with this um, well first off with Parkinson's it was a massive massive thing um, you know, anytime somebody tells you that you have something that, sorry, there's no cure for, um, we can help you with some symptoms, but um, there's no cure, that's a hard pill to swallow. Um, and you either swallow it and you go on, or you swallow it and you lay down. Um, anybody that knows me knows I'm not the type to lay down. Um, not now, not ever. Um, so I went through this surgery <clears throat> harrowing um, the sir you know oh squirrels yep that, that one got bellowed <laughs> squirrels running through the um, trees anyway um, to come as far as I've come with Parkinson's and then to have uh, I felt to, in my mind that this was kind of a last option for me, um, my surgery. Um, there was talk of, and you know, if you go in and you have a tooth pulled, um, well, you could have, uh, wake up maybe and not remember anybody, okay, um, or die, or, well, I didn't have a tooth pulled. I had holes drilled into my skull and then I had cords put in and I have a computer um, and all by the faith of God am I here able to sit and if every once in a while maybe I, my sentences don't seem to make sense um, because in my, my brain maybe I finished the sentence and it just didn't make it out I'm good with that um, it beats where I was at. Um, <clears throat> but anybody that's faced with these things, and, 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 and I, I do, I think you can change it from... Yes, Bella, I know. Um, <clears throat> from anything. Um, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis. Um, sickle cell anemia. Um... Yes, day before yesterday, um, I had lunch with a girlfriend, ended up going back over to her house, uh, they have a caregiver, and her son has just been diagnosed with sickle cell anemia, um, that's, apparently, I don't believe that there is a cure for it, I know that my cousin, um, had it, um, and I don't believe they ever cured him of it. Um, now, he's passed. Um, so I... That doesn't make it a cure. Um, he's, he's just gone on to a, a, a much better place um, where he doesn't have to worry about any of it. Um, diabetes. Um, you know, I don't think diabetes can be um, uh, cured... I think it can be um, managed, um, and I think that 
you know, early detection for almost anything is a, a wonderful thing. Um, <clears throat> I will say that um, <clears throat> I, um, for some reason, I don't produce a whole lot of saliva. I gotta, yeah, there's apparently a button for that. I gotta find it. Because I sound like I'm smacking all the time. Um, anyway, early detection of anything. If something doesn't, you know your body. Nobody else does. Um, if you were to look at me, um, <clears throat> you might not know that 20 days ago that I could not hold my hand straight. Mm. Okay? You might not have known that. Um, we, maybe 20 days ago, you might not have known that um, I had cranial surgery. Um, 20 days ago, you might not have known a, a lot of things. Um, <clears throat> and I think that um, early detection um, saves lives. And it gives them the ab medical the ability to do God's work. Um, that's how I see it. Um, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, I, I seem to be fiddling with my glasses. I've got to go back over. The guy was afraid... Um, to fix my earpiece here because of the cord that runs down to my computer and so my glasses slide off my face and they drive me crazy um, so I gotta go over and get that fixed he's, he's just gonna have to put his hands up there so he can figure it out and get my dang glasses to where they don't wanna see how much slide that's how much slide room I have I way too much um, and so if I look down at all my glasses wanna fall off but early detection, it really is. Um, now, would it have changed anything for me? I don't know. Um, when I was 30 and they said I had fibromyalgia, um, I should not have simply taken one person's word because apparently they were wrong um, that I had early onset Parkinson's. Um, but being the diligent, you know, and I really feel kind of mad at myself, and I shouldn't. Um, but, you know, I grew up um, worried about cancer, um, which took my brother, and it took my father. Um, it took my mom's dad, um, and heart disease, um, which my mother suffers from. Um, her mother passed from a heart attack. Um... You know, so I, I've been concerned about those things all my life. Um, when I was diagnosed early on with uh, um, pre-diabetes, um, I was told that I can either do something physically to change my way of life, um, which means my eating habits, or I could go on insulin. That was... 40 years ago now? Um, my mom says that she wonders, where on earth did I get this girl? Because she does not eat like any of us. No, I don't. Um, I was given a choice and I took it. And that, that choice was to change my eating habits. Um, that's what I did. And so because of it, um, I've not had to live my life um, simply um, taking a whole bunch of medication. So I, so I ate some different things. Um, but I do think that early detection and being able to do something about it um, is the only way to go. Um, I know it doesn't always apply. Um, sometimes, my, well, my father, my dad had been in the year before, <clears throat> had his annual physical. Um, now, he had been given a clear bill of health except they told him he needed to quit smoking. My dad never smoked. <laughs> uh, so I guess in a way he should have gone, well, that one was nothing for me because I don't smoke. Um, 
maybe if he had seen the uh, somebody that gave a damn uh, a doctor that really honest to god gave a damn maybe my father would still be here that part i don't know um early detection maybe but um we weren't given that warning um and so when um dad did get taken down to wilford hall in san antonio he never came back um out uh actually yeah i'm sorry he did um he came back as far as the cemetery at uh sam houston so uh early detection i i don't care what it's for my husband at first when um and this was um not long after we got married <clears throat> And he doesn't argue with me. And I tell him, okay, you need a physical this year. You need this. You need that. And he goes, okay. And he goes and he gets it. Um, does he want to? I'm sure he doesn't. Uh, you know, there's a lot of guys out there that think, um, I, you know, I don't feel anything. I'm going to be fine. Life is good. I don't need to go see anybody. And hopefully you're right. And what if you're not? You've robbed everybody around you that loves you. Of that special time with you. Um, now, does that mean that you should uh, only check on maybe your parents, your dad, your um, mom, your brothers, your sisters... Um, if you know they're sick, please don't do that. <clears throat> no. I, it's the humane thing to do is to give a damn. If you don't care for me when I'm alive, please please don't say you know me when I'm gone. Um, I try real hard. Um, you know, I'm a backslider. Um, and for everybody out there that is a backslider, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not perfect. I'm far, far from it. Um, and I really care. Um, and I think that in my defense that uh, I don't... I don't do anything really intentional um, to defy um, um, I really don't go out of my way trying to be a jerk or ugly or anything like that I'm far far from it sometimes I get used quite a bit um, because I don't um, all I can say is if you ever took advantage of me you're welcome I forgive you and if I ever took advantage of you I'm sorry um, and it is more than words um, hopefully I didn't not recognize and hopefully I uh, did try to make amends for it. Um, I think that's important. Um, now, is there a... Uh, yeah. Hope keeping it alive through faith brings grace. Yes, ma'am, it does. Um, I had a cousin that told me, um, don't be very... Um, don't talk too much about religion. Um, I don't believe I ever um, make that attempt um, I, I am uh, thank you I am a child of God um, I do believe in a greater purpose in this life um, and I think that each and every person that's put on this earth 
um, that God placed us here for something. Um, and and some people will say, oh, well, God didn't place me on this earth. Okay, you know, um, I don't know. I, I can't, I just know what I feel and how my heart works. Um, and that's, you know, if, if that's wrong, um, I'm hoping that my creator understands that it's not religion, but it's faith. Um, I had it told to me, um, matter of fact, my dad. Um, he said there's a difference between religion and faith. Um, religion is what makes you feel comfortable. Um, the clothes that you wear. Um, it's, I don't know, 80-something degrees, I'm sitting outside, I'm wearing sweatpants because for some reason my body wants to stay frozen. Um, but I have on sweatpants and a t-shirt. Now, if somebody else were here, they're going to be wearing what's comfortable for them. Um, that's religion. You kind of keep your butt covered, you know? Um, faith, faith is what moves mountains. Faith is what creates change. Faith um, is what allows God to um, touch you with his grace. Um, faith. Not the religion, but faith. And if that offends somebody, I, I guess you're just going to have to be offended because that's how I feel. And my feelings will not be discounted. They cannot be discounted by anybody else. Um, not anybody that, that makes a difference to me. Anyway. <clears throat> so, um, then I guess, okay, th topic three now um, here for you today is, of course, everybody knows that I'm a travel advisor. Um, we used to be called travel agents. They decided that that wasn't um, really um, so much travel agent, travel advisor. Um, I mean, I don't care what it's called. That's what I am. Um, my passion is to travel. And I bet I can have a four-hour discussion never get off topic if I'm talking about travel. <clears throat> it's a passion. So, I have a group of people that work with me, and I'm very, very blessed by them. Um, Tina um, works for me, <clears throat> and, well, and Joseph. They have built some wonderful itineraries from East Coast to West Coast, um, that they're just phenomenal. Y'all, I, I mean, I'm not even playing. Okay, you can go, um, <clears throat> to a vendor, let them do most of the work, or you can sit down and do it, um, yourself. Um, <clears throat> my staff that works with me, um, the name of our company is We Go. We Go Travel. Um, and they are Team We Go. Um, if you follow us, you will see that... I mean, right now, I can't go anywhere. Um, now, that doesn't mean that I won't. Um, well, I did go down to Galveston and got in trouble. Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, I, not really. But um, I had an incident in Galveston, yeah. So I don't know when I'm going back. I don't know. Um, Tina and Joseph are not only making itineraries that <clears throat> are phenomenal. Um, those of you that know me know I did not grow up in the United States. Um, I grew up in Germany um, and so there's a lot of now I have traveled around quite a bit even in the United States um, 
the research and the mapping and the inclusions and the um, Tina has on hers if you would like for her to help you out and she, the only reason I say Tina is because Joseph can do the same thing she has trivia built into the trip and I'm like now that's cool um, so not only uh, you want to take a long drive um, maybe you're a little bit um, traveling by air is not really I'm not comfortable with that yet, um, but I, I'm okay with traveling in my vehicle with um, people, you know, my little clique, whether it's your family, whether it's um, for girlfriends, whether it's, I don't care, um, whatever it is, um, and you've got, what, four, six people maybe going. Um, so, Tina, and I was like, now that's thinking out of the box. Um, she has trivia games built into her itinerary um you want to go somewhere and you want it to be unique give us a call because my team has got the goods i am telling you that right now my team has got the goods um you'll see them in action and i mean they didn't just put this stuff together and go Yes, isn't it beautiful? And we've used this photographs from all of these... No, 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 no. Um, team we go is out and about. Um, <laughs> just because I am, am not able to travel just yet, and believe me, um, the moment... <laughs> the moment that my medical team tells me... Uh, you can travel. Boom, I'm gone. <laughs> um, yeah, because I have... Mm -mm. I love my... Well, I like my backyard. I like it a whole lot. I really wish they weren't doing the construction over there. The first uh, lives that I did at the beginning of the year, that was not going on. Um, <clears throat> so, I am so ready to be outside these walls, outside this yard. Um... Uh, go see my mother um, ugh, anything um, right now though I, I am battling a little bit with now I have vertigo and I've had vertigo for a long long time it, that part that's nothing new um, but apparently I'm going to live the rest of my life with a scopalamine patch behind my ear every three days pop one off and change location so it doesn't eat through your skin um, I get it okay and if that's the worst that I have to have, I'm done. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. That's okay. Whatever. Um, I've got to go somewhere. Um, Friday, when Aaron took me for my uh, programming on the way home, um, I got sick and I did throw up. Um, and then two days ago... I went to Houston, and it's not that Houston made me sick, <laughs> even though it kind of sounds that way, but no, it's the amount of time, I guess, in the vehicle, um, <clears throat> but I got sick again in the car, um, um, thankfully, I did not throw up in the vehicle, I, well, I did on the way back, um, but I had a cup, and thankfully, <laughs> that's all I threw up, because, mm, nasty, but, um, that's going to be something uh, when they do the nano chips and they do the directional and it's going to be in programming and so there, I, I do believe they're going to be able to get that corrected um, because he said I shouldn't have any problem traveling um, well I hope not because right now anytime I go to Houston and I guess it's just the length of time that I would be in the vehicle um, I don't get it's not motion sickness um I threw up I you know and I thought maybe in the past that um <clears throat> being car sick or seasick meant the same thing apparently it doesn't uh 
Yeah. Sorry, Ben. I did not know. Um. <clears throat> anyway, so I've got to try to get that fine-tuned. Um, the doctors, I'll be back and forth to them. Uh, they'll they'll give me that um, because I'm I'm pretty sure if I got on a plane right now, everybody on that plane is not going to like me um, because. I'm pretty sure I'd puke the whole way, um, and that's, nobody wants to go like that. So anyway, I've got a couple of things uh, that I'm going to do today that I, um, I actually remember that I'm supposed to be doing them, so I feel much better about that, um, and I'm going to take Bella with me, so she's going to get to get out, um, and Last but not least, before I uh, let, let you go, um, and I appreciate anybody that stayed on and, and listened to me for um, me rambling, um, keep an eye out. Um, one day I am actually going to figure out how to make a damn ebook. Um, and I'm also going to include some stories about Bella the Boxer. Um, they, those stories about Bella the Boxer are, I guess, a, um, result, maybe, mm, of talking to my grandsons. Um, and they like coming over and hearing me, um, tell them little funny things about the dog. Um. So, I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to maybe see if I can make it available to others, um, because she has. Uh, she's been a wonderful asset, um, and I always, every time I think about it, dog, 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 it's God spelled backwards, um, and I do believe that God lives through some of these little minions and they're here to help guide us through it and I'm so very thankful for um, for not only Bella but for any dog that makes you feel better um, that red cardinals red cardinals I love them y'all have a good day <laughs>